Welcome back to the Ether Claire Podcast Show. We got a great episode for you this week. It is the big 30th episode. Yay. Yeah, Pretty excited, sweet. everybody. Pretty excited. Ronaldo is back. Mm. Yep. All right. I'm here, you guys. You guys are going to know what it is. Number 10 for Peter's me. back. 10th episode. Yep. Thank you very much for coming on, Pete. And we got a little bit of news. Pete is only going to be here for a couple more episodes. That's right. He's actually moving out. Well, he was never actually technically here, but it <laughs> felt like it. He was here about half the week. He would do the podcast. He had classes. He's actually going to be done with uh, school now, and he's moving on to bigger and better things. That's right. A new podcast. Maybe. The oh, Pete oh, Ignatescu Show. Yeah, I don't know. Colin's back, of course. Yep, for the big Thanksgiving episode. Big Thanksgiving episode, <laughs> and I mean, we not we don't have too many Thanksgiving themed things here. We are going to have a um, a Thanksgiving themed interview segment, but we don't really have like anything crazy for you guys for Thanksgiving. But happy Thanksgiving, everybody! Hope you have a good time with your family, eat a lot of food, and just have a good time because it's a good time to be with family. And we were at the campus tonight trying to do a prank. Nobody was there. We had a tough time finding people. Yeah, where was everybody at, Ethan? I think they're already going home. I don't know if MSU didn't have classes on today or what, but no one I was there. I think today was their last day. Today and, was their last and day. Everyone's going home. For we the couldn't holiday. find anybody because we were trying to prank them, but no one was there. So we did a couple. That sucks. You'll see that later. Right. Let's jump right in. Before we do jump in, though, we need to do a little introduction here, just to remind you to share, comment, retweet, subscribe, like. Give us a good review or a bad review if you didn't like it. Whatever you thought about the show, let us know. We appreciate the feedback from everybody. It's always good to hear from fans. A lot of people have been contacting me, telling me what they liked about the show, what they don't like about it. We're trying to adjust to make things better. So, you know, let's just continue on and get right into it. The five-minute news of the week. Peter, start that timer. Jump right in here. U.S. closes busy border entry in Tawana after migrant caravan arrives. Do you guys know anything about this? Nope. Nope. No. You haven't no. heard anything about this, this in the news. This is now you know. This is not <laughs> now you know. This is five-minute news. A lot of, well, you probably have heard about the caravan, all these people coming from Honduras and other countries um, below Mexico, and they're all coming up to the border trying to get in, trying to seek asylum. And it's funny because I was, I was reading this. I got some things written down here. People that live in Tijuana, Mexico, are actually pissed about this. They're chanting, get out, get out, like, get out of our city. And all these people are coming from different countries. They're actually coming into these uh, small Mexican... Well, Tijuana's pretty big, actually, but they're coming into these towns. There was 400 people arriving uh, in the border town last week on the one day, and they were all yelling, get out, get out. And 3,000, um, it said, total arrived last week, and they're expecting up to 10,000 people to come. And the people of Tijuana don't really know what to do with them. The United States doesn't want them, and I, I just don't know where all these people are going to go. Trump's obviously uh, really against it. Um, I don't really know where to, you know, they're, 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 they're right there. They're just kind of chilling on the border fence, and the United, the government has sent 5,800 troops down there, so there's not really anywhere for them to go. People in Mexico don't want them. United States don't want them. I don't really know where they're going to go. So these aren't like illegal immigrants. These are people trying to seek asylum, coming from Honduras, coming from other countries south of Mexico. So it's pretty crazy to see all the videos of there's videos of them like waving at the border agents and everything. And one guy even jumped over, ran up to the U.S. border agent and then ran back to the fence and jumped over. So oh. it's crazy stuff that's going on. Another shooting. Um, oh, yeah, I feel I like about I heard I feel like we talk about shootings too often on here, but they're happening every week. It's sad. This one happened in Chicago, Southside Mercy Hospital. Um, three people killed. So, I mean, any but any amount of people dying is bad, but three three people um it was a doctor a pharmacist and an o- a police officer and there's actually a video pete we could check out real quick uh if you go down uh maybe there's just pictures i thought there was a video on here but uh it happened at the hospital and the guy was actually bullied the guy that shot up the hospital was actually kicked off the fire department because he was bullying female off or female firefighters uh-huh. um yeah so there i mean it all links back to that i think that might be the video right there pete or is that just an advertisement oh Oh, it's a wonderful lifetime. I don't know if this is <laughs> a video. It. Go up, Pete. I thought there was a video up here on the top or something about it. Maybe that that was it, no, right? I think it is it. Is it we really? Just gotta wait. Yeah, yeah that always got these stupid go, advertisements here. Wow. This might be the video. If not, we're wasting our one minute. <laughs> Definitely the advertisement. So I don't know if there's anything else on there. Um, there was some issues yeah, with the a bullying. Oh, go up, Pete. I was reading that quick. There's some issues with the bullying that he was going to be disciplined for, and he went AWOL. So he just went off the charts. And just shot some people in that state, just bang, bang. Or yeah, well, in the hospital. I don't know the whole story, but he got arrested, and it says um, Lopez has been married and had a child with his ex-wife, according to the divorce records. His former wife said Lopez behaved dangerously. Before the marriage dissolved, he slept with a pistol under his pillow. 
she said, and That's brandished kind of... a weapon on multiple occasions during fits of anger with a neighbor and a realtor. So obviously this guy's got mental problems. Yeah, problems. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, big time. His neck probably hurt too. Yeah, that. <laughs> yeah. That gun under his... yeah dang. So next thing, because we're moving quick here. Five minutes. Fifty-year-old murder case finally solved. So I didn't even know about this before, but this is crazy because the guy that killed this uh, girl is actually dead. He died when he was 54 years old in 2001 from cancer, and they actually recently the FBI connected his DNA to the murder of Jane Britton in 1969. This case is, was just solved using DNA. I thought that was pretty crazy that they have new technology able to you know, connect murder cases and stuff. Mm-hmm. I thought that was crazy. So it said right here, I am totally confident that the mystery of who killed Jane Britton has finally been solved. If you go down a little bit more, they talk about how this girl was 23 in college. I think she was a senior, I hope. I mean, she was a med student, pretty sure, back at her apartment after out drinking with her friends and boyfriend, and this guy broke into her house. Uh, I think he raped her, and then he killed her, and they never found out who did it. But after DNA tests, getting DNA from the murderer's brother and other stuff from him, they were able to connect it 50, 50, yeah, 50 years later. So That's crazy. Yeah, that was <clears throat> really ridiculous. I mean, just, I mean, crazy along. They well, said they tied him to four other rapes. Yeah, because it was a serial was rapist death, and killer, yeah. yeah. Another news uh, article here. This is a f- more of dumb news. New Orleans man accused of bomb threat and says he had to poop really bad. He went into this Willie's chicken shack, and he hey go down a little a little bit. It says what he said here. Oh, uh, maybe it was up more. I'm trying to get his his uh, quote because it was pretty pretty funny. Y'all about bomb. to close right now because I'm going to get a bomb and blow this place up. <laughs> Well, he just had to go to the bathroom, and, and the take, police showed up. <laughs> and take a big, you know. Big dump. Hey, police showed up. He actually got in trouble. He's got to go to court now. He said he never mentioned the bathroom when he made his alleged threat. Uh, he's got two counts of communicating false information and planned arson. He will also need to appear in court. Pretty funny stuff. An idiot for going in there and saying that. One more thing for the week. We've talked about the California wildfighters last week. I saw a crazy video today of a family escaping the flames and the fire. I just thought this was wild. Let me get the volume turned up here. Pete, you can check this video out. Check out this. It looks like something straight out of a movie. We looked at stuff last week, but this is crazy. It's the entrance to hell. Come on. Yeah. Look at that. She's praying right now. I mean, that's how scared she is. Look at this right now. Fire. She's right in there. She's probably going like, oh, oh, she's going 50 some. Yeah. Yeah. 40, 49 right there. Look at that. You can't even see the road. Out. You can't even see <laughs> the road. Oh, never mind. I'll probably crash right there. Look at like that. Blizzard, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Just I, I saw this video today, and I couldn't believe it. It was real. Just watching, driving by, houses burning down. The fire just keeps getting worse in California. So bad. And I saw celebrities' houses were burning down, too, and stuff. Like, it was. It, it's getting just really... Just flying past people. Yeah. It's getting really crazy. I mean... And now it's beautiful. Well, yeah, look at that. Boom. Look at Nothing. that. Nothing. Yeah, I thought that it, when I originally watched the video, I thought it was actually um, at, like two clips fading together or whatever. Uh-huh. But that's really coming out <coughs> from the crazy, you know, the crazy firestorm that's, that's going on. So crazy stuff going on all around the world. That's your five minute news of the week. Pete, how we do? Six and a half minutes. Oh! <laughs> I mean, that's that even longer than. advertisement screwed us over. Yeah, hey, cut the advertisement out. We would have had the five minutes. Mm-hmm. Maybe. I mean, maybe a little bit longer. <laughs> we'll get better. Five minutes of news, people. It was pretty good. We'll get better. We'll get better. I, I didn't I say last week, Pete, we're going to rename it Six Minute News. <laughs> I think so, yeah. Because yeah. I said we're not going to be able to get down to the five minute mark. There's too much crazy stuff going on. Five Minute News, people. All right. We are going to switch over to our next segment, where we, what we were talking about before. Big, Our only really Thanksgiving segment, it is on the MSU campus, talking to a bunch of students. We had to ask them what they're thankful for. Before we do that, what are you guys thankful for? Parents. Parents? That was yeah, the parents. most popular yeah, answer. Family. Yeah. family. We actually had to tell people. You know, if you have a second alternative other than family, uh-huh. try to say that. So we got a lot of people, a lot of comments. Colin? Mm, mm. Family, friends, work. <laughs> I already asked you. Mankato. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bandos. Bandos. There we go. All right. Well, check out what MSU students had to say. We are here at Mankato State University. Thanksgiving's approaching. We are asking people what they're thankful for. I'm thankful for good friends. Oh, wow. Appreciate it. What a guy. Let's see what everyone else has to say. We are down here with Tommy. Now Thanksgiving's approaching pretty quick. We're just asking people, what are you thankful for this year? My family. We are here with Samip. What are you thankful for this year? 
I'm actually thankful for a lot of things. Actually, my um, I mean, overall life has been pretty good. I mean, in here in Mankato. Yeah. So yeah. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Nepal. No way. Katie. What are you thankful for? Uh, my roommates. You love them? I do. Sarah Skra. And? Emily Chenault. What are you guys thankful for? I'm thankful for my dog, Ozzy. And I'm thankful for, <laughs> I'm thankful for my girlfriend. <laughs> They're so cute, aren't they? <laughs> just do it again, just do it again. I'm Emily. I'm Manny. What are you thankful for? I'm thankful for my family. And weirdly enough, I'm thankful for my professors for teaching me everything I need to know. That'll be a first tonight, folks. Uh, I just got back from home, so I'm actually really thankful for my family as well. And I'm also thankful that this semester is almost over, so I can take a breather. Uh, you're going to be celebrating Thanksgiving this year? Yeah, with my friends. Oh, that'll be awesome. Uh, we don't, I mean, I've never celebrated Thanksgiving before, so it's going to be awesome. They don't have Thanksgiving in Nepal? No, they don't know. Sarah. What are you thankful for? I'm thankful for my mom. Aww. Tia. What are you thankful for, Tia? My family. Harley. What are you thankful for, Harley? My girlfriend. We are here with... Steffi. Megan. Sammy. What are you guys thankful for? My boyfriend. My dogs. <laughs> and this beautiful school we attend. What are you guys thankful for? You. Oh, my man. My man. What are you two thankful for? Uh, I'm very thankful for uh, my opportunity to be here to study school and... Uh, um, yeah, and, <laughs> and uh, I'm thankful to be in Minnesota. It's a good place to grow up, and yeah. Uh, I'm thankful for Anderson Pack, new album, Oxnard, out now. <laughs> hey, this guy's trying to catch a discount saying he's thankful for the school or something. Brooke. Brooke, what are you thankful for this year? Um, my family. Owen. What are you thankful for, Owen? Fortnite. Wow. Devin. What are you thankful for this year, Devin? I'm thankful for the opportunity to have an education here. Sounds good. Trying to get a break in tuition there? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that little interview segment on the street with the MSU students. A lot of cool interviews. A lot of Talked to a lot of cool people. And my favorite interview is probably the guy from Nepal. Oh, yeah, that was pretty cool. Cool to talk to a guy who had never heard of Thanksgiving before because they don't celebrate it in Nepal, and he's going to be celebrating it for the first time. He's a long ways away from home at MSU, so it, it's going to be fun experience for him to go with friends and see what we do here in the United States, I feel like. So that was pretty cool. Next segment, brand new one. It's called That Sucks. And, yes, that's the name of it. We are going to be showing you, I don't know how often we'll do this, maybe once a week, whatever, just stuff that videos of people and you're just like, wow, that sucks. That sucks. <laughs> Check out this video. I saw this video on Facebook. Pete, you're going to want to jump to about 25 second mark, maybe. Ooh. Jump it. Have you seen this, Ronaldo? Yeah, I think I've seen oh this. Oh my gosh. This is something, I don't know. I thought it was fake because it was so crazy. Uh -huh. Yeah, you could jump to right about here, Pete, right here. All right, check this out. Everyone will be agreeing that sucks. I don't even know what I'd be doing after this. <laughs> Just like, oh. Hey, watch this. What <laughs> even happens to him? <laughs> I wonder what's in them boxes. Yeah, I don't know, dude. I mean, look like one. Look at they just one. keep going. Yeah. <laughs> Domino. Hey. Right. Oh my. This goes. Oh. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> hey. <laughs> what are those things made out of? Toothpicks? I mean. Yeah. Jeez. I whoever, mean, whoever installed those did a horrible. Hey, job. but that's mm -hmm. a lot of weight on there. Yeah, I was to say, yeah. I'm that guy. Did you go back, Pete? Right when it falls over, look at right. Look at the guy's cart when it falls over. It literally pushes the it whole pushes thing. Pushes it over. Yeah, and then he gets demolished by it. But that's a lot of weight. On oh the yeah. Racks. Oh yeah. I think they're over. He just watch, watch. It. Look, look at how it pushes him over. Boom. Well, that floor is pretty slippery too. Oh my gosh. He completely got covered. Oh though, yeah. So hopefully they were all right. So that's the big segment. That sucks. <laughs> <laughs> and that does suck. I feel bad for that company. How do you even clean that up? Uh, <laughs> Hard work and dedication. That's all you have to do. It starts with firing that guy. And yeah. then, well, I mean, it probably he barely wasn't, hit He barely it. bumped it, yeah. I don't know. That's Them boxes shouldn't have been in the middle of that alley either. No, you know, that was a bad... Right. Well, he was trying to get around that cart too, but, I mean, there's nothing you could say other than that, that sucks. sucks. All right, <laughs> next segment. It is a, a prank that we talked about. We hyped it up last week, and we... I mean, I think we did a pretty good job. It's pretty it was good. pretty interesting we'll going out there. We'll have to do it again. Well, I don't know if we'll do it again. You could do it this time, Colin. I will. I love the end. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned for the end, but it is the Domino's Pizza Prank. Dressed up as a Domino's delivery driver. We drove around. 
tried to deliver these 10 pizzas, and it didn't seem like anybody would take them, really. Even the guy with the crazy dog. So oh. check it out. See if free we could get... Free cheesy bread. Free cheesy bread. We even threw the free cheesy bread in. No one would take it. So check out Domino's Pizza Prank. We are going out today as Domino's delivery drivers. There's just one thing. You didn't order pizza. <laughs> Pizzas are here. Yeah, we got eight, I think it was eight large cheese, two medium pepperoni. Hi there. Pizza, huh? You sure? It was the... We threw in the free, it was the free tent. Okay, I thought thought this was the right one. We did not order all that pizza. God, this is the second time tonight. Didn't order pizzas though. No. We threw in the free pepperoni. It was the buy nine. Um, it, was it a call? Yeah, yep. It might have, uh, was it, did they sign Hispanic or something? I, I mean, I didn't take the call. I just. Oh, it is. It yeah, is the same. same yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, doors. But you didn't. No one ordered pizza. Nobody ordered pizza here. No. Really. No, I'm so sorry. No. No, it's not your fault. Yeah, I'm just. No, we didn't order anything. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we even threw in the cheesy bread too because you guys ordered so many, so I didn't know. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> We're out here delivering pizza, people. <laughs> Except these aren't real. Hi there. Pizzas. Really? We it was the eight, and then it was the two medium. No, I definitely ordered some Domino's. Really? No. That's weird. Okay. Howdy. Pizzas here. We didn't order any pizza. No surprise pizzas or anything. No. Nope. Really? We got really? the eight, and then the two medium. We threw in the free. What did you have for the main? Yeah. Was it James? No, I don't. I. They just call me and tell me what houses to go to, but. We didn't order anything. We didn't order any. <sighs> All right, well, take care. Have a good Thanksgiving. Dog's not hungry for pizza? Uh, no, we just had one tonight. What are you giving pizzas away? No, we got an order. This is not wrong, wrong place, or? This is no, this is one. Nobody ordered a pizza from here. Oh, really? You guys didn't have the the cheese bread too? No, we no. didn't order any pizza. Really? Hmm. Sure, you got the right address? Yeah, that was. Well, someone could have. Someone could be pranking too. We've had a couple of those before, so. But, I mean, this is an awful lot of pizza. I thought you guys were having a party or something. No. Not Dang. That. Well, hey, take care. Yep. Have a good one. Oh. 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 I'm all right here. Have a good one. Hey. I'm all right. I'm all right. Thank you. God, I'm gonna have to. Thank you, though. Hey. Take care. Sorry about that. Pretty funny there at the end with that guy ran over there, tried to help me get up. At least there's bad, nice though. people out there. There are nice help. people. Yeah, and no one actually like chewed me out really for trying to bring them ten pizzas that they never ordered. Everyone was just like, well, we didn't order that. And then they felt bad because now we had 10 pizzas that weren't going to get eaten by anybody. So next segment, new one. We're calling it Kill the Collar. Who's on the line? Yo, what up? It's Don B. Don B. This ain't Don B. This is Trent Lacan. Yep, that's right. My friends call me Big Trent. but Big Trent? Right. Where are you calling from, Trent? Big Trent. Uh, Brookings, South Dakota. Wow. Big what old guy. SDSU. Big old SDSU. Yeah, Wait, how you how you doing? Habits. How you doing at, at SDSU, Trent? Uh, college is hard, man. Is it? Not easy. Yeah. He's barely surviving. Barely surviving. I am. Wait, what are you going for, Trent? Pharmacy. Pharmacy. Wow. Tough classes, I bet. Sounds pretty good. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, this is what we're going to do. You and Ronaldo are actually going to be going head-to-head -head here. Oh, so, Jesus. All right. Ronaldo's <laughs> on here, and we're just going to give you four questions, all right? I'm not going to. You both okay. answer. You both answer. And whoever gets it right, you get that point. My cheek, right? Four questions. If you guys tie, 
We're going to have a fifth question. The winner. Okay. Is it like at the same time? I mean, you can, yeah, I'll give you the thing. It's not like who gets it first. It's just whoever gets the right answer. So I can like, I'll tell you to answer or, you know, Ronaldo. So bring up the first question here. It's going to be good. All right. Make it full screen. Let's see what we got for you, Trent. All right. Loading, hopefully. Come on. Give us a question. All right. Name the largest freshwater lake in the world. A, Lake Erie. B, Lake Superior. C, Lake Michigan. Or D, Fish Lake. Trent, what do you think? Fish Lake? What do you think? I know you live on Fish Lake, Fish Trent. Lake is it's pretty pretty <laughs> wet in Fish Lake. It's I know pretty it's pretty wet. All right. <laughs> pretty wet, pretty wet. Oh, Trent, one more side question so, before you answer this. Yeah, If you up? are underwater, are you wet? No. Why no. not? I, I argue with because. someone uh, over Thanksgiving uh, with, I mean, we had Thanksgiving last weekend with our other family, like our grandparents. I argue with my cousin about this. If oh, you're geez. underwater, I don't think you're wet. Or I do think you're wet. I did, do. You, did, you, did you ruin Thanksgiving? Like yeah, the whole that? family got in a big bar fight. It was crazy. People were Probably. throwing chairs at each other. No, but if you're underwater, you're totally wet. I don't think I don't think you're wet until you come out of water. That's that's bull crap. What do you think, Ronaldo? I feel like if you're underwater, you're as wet as you're gonna be. No, I like, think it's a waste what? of time to talk about it. <laughs> Maybe I, who knows? You know, it, I it's think a if question you're in water, you're wet. I think if you're in water, you're wet. All right, Trent. What's the largest freshwater lake in the world? All right. Um. Either Fish Lake or Lake Superior. <laughs> Ronaldo, what are you going to say? I'm going to pick Lake Superior. Lake Superior. All Narrow right. it down to one, Trent. All, All right. right. Well, R- Ronaldo's pretty smart, so I'll go with Lake Superior. Too. <laughs> All right. I'll What's the him. answer? I'll just hit, hit the left arrow. No, just hit the left uh, right arrow, Pete. Hold on. All right. T- hit right. The right arrow. Yeah. Lake Superior. <laughs> Trent, oh, you better not be right. looking these up, Trent. <laughs> I told you, you I'm going with what Ronaldo said. He's smart. I'm going to whoop you. You better not be cheating over there on the line. Otherwise, you're going to really get killed. All right, next question. What is the day after Christmas commonly known as? A, caroling day. B, prayer day. C, boxing day. Or D, Palm Sunday. Ronaldo, you answer first this time. Um, Palm Sunday. Palm Sunday. Wait, hold on. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> All right. You know, I'm going to stick with that answer. I'm going to go with that one. Palm I'm smart, Sunday. right, Trent? Come on. Trent, with what, what, Trent, are you going with Ronaldo this time? Um, is Palm Sunday the day after Christmas? I don't think it is. <laughs> what is the answer? I, what if it's a Monday? I always go to church for Palm Sunday, and I know it's not after it can be Christmas. Tuesday. Who knows? <laughs> um, Wasn't Jesus? Hey, Jesus was born, and that Palm Sunday is when Jesus was going to the. Uh, Trent, don't pick this one. When he was resurrected. <laughs> I don't know. All right, Trent. Trent, what is the answer? All right. Um. Well, I remember doing a paper on Boxing Day when I was younger, when I was researching Canada. Is that your answer? That's I Canada. think so. All right. What's the answer here? Boxing oh, Day. Boxing Trent correct. LeCan. All right. So. We got one point for Trent, one point or two points for Trent, one point for Ronaldo. Next question. In what year did World War II end? 1943, 1948, 1942, or 1945? Trent, answer right now so we know you're not looking it up. 45. 45, Ronaldo? You know what, Trent's pretty smart. 45. 45. (laughs) All right. What's the answer? 45. You are correct, Trent. So now it is three Three, to two. All right. Next question. Last question. Last question. Which of these is not the name of a Michael Jackson song? A. Smooth Criminal. B. Remember the time. C. I always fall. I, I always love you. Or D. Earth Song. Ronaldo. Earth Song. Trent. Oh, I'm a big Michael Jackson guy. Mm-hmm. Smooth Criminal. Right. Remember I'm, the time. I'm, I'm one. I always love you. Earth Song. God. Um. Often I'm just gonna say I always love you. I always love you. No. Oh! Jeez, no. clipped like a mother brother there. I just probably don't I'm know actually song. super surprised. I think he's got Google up. I don't know, though. Mm. Trent, you lying son of a gun. No, I believe what him. What is it? What was it? It is You're I always right. love you. You were well, right. Okay, I, li- I literally just guessed on Hey, that. doesn't some girl sing that song? Yeah, I don't remember. Is it Celine Dion or something? Might be. I don't remember. I always love you, Trent. You got it right. Well, we have one more question. Might as well throw it in there for fun, even though you're beating Ronaldo by one. Where is Mount Everest? Oh, by Nepal. two. Where is Mount Everest located? Tibet, Nepal, border of Nepal, Tibet, or Switzerland? Trent. Mount Everest. Yep. Wait, was there how many answers were there? Were there you four. Two or four? Yeah, Tibet, Nepal, border of Nepal and Tibet, or Switzerland. 
I don't know. I'm going to have to pick the weird one here and say border of Tibet and Nepal. <laughs> Ronaldo? No, no, I'll go with Nepal. Nepal. Border of Nepal, Tibet, Trent. You're smart, really? man. Oh you win a prize. Wow. I know you're so excited to win a big What's prize. What's the prize? What is it? The, what pri- is the prize is a $25 Duffy's gift card from your dad, oh Jeff God. LeCan. From that, my dad. That, that your dad that never gave it? to the lady that shared and won the thing on Facebook. <laughs> Trent, your prize is 10 empty Domino's boxes. 10 empty Domino's pizza boxes, Trent. Eight large, two million. Can you believe that? I know you're so pumped uh, right now. You're not gonna be able to sleep. I could do with that. Oh, I know. You could put a bunch of boxes, pizzas in it. Squeeze out the grease and put it in my car. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that thing's greasy enough, Trent. Come on. Wow. Well, it was great talking to you. We hope you do well with pharmacy, pharmacy, pharmaceuticals, whatever you're doing nowadays. I don't know what you're doing. Opio- opioids. Yeah. <laughs> Fentanyl. Yeah, just, you better calm down I'm, over there. I'm, I'm expanding my. Uh, <laughs> I used to be a bartender, but now I'm just working on drugs now. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, it was nice talking to you, Trent. I'm sure we'll see you this weekend for Thanksgiving. Hopefully. Hopefully. Maybe go get a beer with you or something. Who knows? Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. We'll talk to you later, Trent. All right. Sleep well. All right. See you Sounds later. Good. Yep. All right. Yeah. All right. Yep. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Jeez, that's a Minnesota <laughs> goodbye right there. You can never say, never say goodbye. All right. Well, that wraps it up this week. It was a pretty fast-paced episode. Went pretty quick. Got a lot done though. Didn't really kill the caller. That well, I mean, we kill uh, we kill uh, the guy who lost. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Don't kill Ronaldo. Thank you for coming, Ronaldo, and thank yeah, you, you, Peter and Colin, for being on again. It was a good week, and we hope everyone has a happy Thanksgiving. Truly mean that from the bottom of our hearts. We appreciate everyone for tuning in. This episode will be out on Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, which today's Tuesday for us. It'll be coming out Wednesday, which is today for people watching. Appreciate everyone tuning in. Next week we we will be back. Not sure what's gonna be happening. Be another fun filled episode craziness going on like always and we're going to be out doing more stuff at msu hopefully and another crazy topic doesn't matter thank you very much for tuning in this is the ethicler podcast show we'll see you next week